eyeing them and what local agencies and lawmakers are doing to try and put an end to it. Kelsey, good morning. Hey, good morning, Lauren. So your catalytic converter, it's underneath your car and it's filled with precious metals that recycling plants and metal shops they can buy. Well, I've learned from my sources that a lot of those catalytic converter sales are going to Edinburgh. So I reached out to the Johnson County Sheriff's Department to see what they're doing to slow down these sales or hopefully put a stop to them. It's been going on for as long as I remember. Stealing a catalytic converter can take a matter of minutes for someone who knows what they're doing. And that's not just a cheap quick fix. You know, that's, that could end up being uh, over $1,000. This Johnson County resident knows that all too well. They don't want to be identified, but said their catalytic converter was stolen while at Dave & Buster's in Greenwood, telling me it happened in the middle of the day in a busy parking lot. Uh, what we'll typically see is somebody pull up next to a car, you'll see a door open, somebody slides out, rolls under a car, and within a less than a minute, they can be jumping back in a car and, and taking off. Major Damian Katt says the Johnson County Sheriff's Office is doing their best to protect Johnson County residents from theft like this. All, all of the agencies experience the, um, the frustration when you can't help someone. They've helped with new state legislation, performed audits, and even worked undercover to see who's buying these stolen cores. There are recycling businesses that purchase these cores. We discovered that there are people out at some of these businesses that are uh, knowingly purchasing these stolen catalytic converters. New legislation went into effect last July, making it more difficult for these places to illegally buy catalytic converters and less desirable for criminals to steal them. As of July 1st, 2022, a business can only pay $25 in cash for a catalytic converter. The rest has to be in the form of a check. A seller can only sell one catalytic converter a day, and the seller has to have a signed affidavit from a police agency stating the seller lawfully owns the catalytic converter. Major Katz says last summer they informed the purchasers of these changes. And then we waited a certain amount of time and then did another audit to see if there was compliance, and, and we saw more compliance, um, but not everybody was complying. After that, an undercover operation. We sent guys in in an attempt to see who was requiring, you know, where, where our guys turned out, turned away because they didn't have the proper paperwork or were there workarounds, which we learned there were workarounds. He tells me they're working now to put a stop to those workarounds. We're doing this for the citizens of Johnson County. In Johnson County, Kelsey Anderson, WRTV.